Carol, and I'm here at IPEM 2020 with Benoit Dauchy of Mira. Uh, Hello. So, Benoit, this morning you were part of a panel that asked the question, uh, just how challenging is the environment right now? So I was wondering, what do you see as the biggest uh, obstacles facing private market investors in 2020? I think stating the obvious, it's valuation. Uh, it's a relative, so some people could say competition, but I don't think competition is any worse now than it was before. Mm. It's changed, become, becoming better, but hopefully we're becoming better too. The valuation level clearly imply uh, a future development or growth of the business, which means we need to grow faster, uh, develop company faster, be more professional in many aspects of the way we do due diligence and create value. How have you adapted your origination strategy to cope with those difficulties? So we're trying to stick to a few cornerstones of our investment strategy and then adapt within that what we call compass. So that compass is we are a growth investor. We look for resilient growth. We are sector expert um, and we're global. So if you want, our remit is our five sector. Our remit is the globe. And within that, we're really trying to find the businesses that you know, where there's still real value for us. Uh, to give you a few examples, we have the big technology team uh, and we've been investing in, in enterprise software forever. Uh, however, what we found in this environment is that you need to be way smarter how you value growth. And you're going to have some certain businesses that have very clear unit economics. Every year they buy a certain cohort of customers that behave the same way. And you have the ability, the, the privilege, if you want, to choose how much you invest to acquire those customers. And therefore, there's a very clear link between how fast you grow and how much money or how profitable you are. And we found that we could buy businesses that look very expensive, that, however, have fantastic economics and a lot of growth. And we were able to convince ourselves that three years out, four years out, five years out, when we decide to slow the growth or when the market mature, they will reach a profitability level. That means the price we've actually paid is totally reasonable. So it means it's going beyond the first thing you see, which is a very high price, and really understand and dissect the economics of the business. Outside of enterprise software, are there any other particular sectors that you're finding uh, exciting right now? Uh, so again, linked to that resilient growth uh, strategy. Uh, so yes, enterprise software marketplaces in the digital mm -hmm. world. Uh, and some of them could be offline uh, marketplaces that you can bring technology and transform in what we call more digital marketplaces. Uh, certain business services, uh, some aspect of healthcare where we've done really big investments. Uh, a good example would be API manufacturing and formulation in a world where pharma companies don't want to be doing many, many things. They want to offshore what is not core R&D marketing and therefore happy to outsource, sorry, not offshore, outsource many things. So there's a few examples like this, and I'm, I'm forgetting many. Okay. Just finally then, I was wondering what attributes do you think a manager needs to be successful in this kind of environment? <laughs> That's a hard question. I'll point two that are relatively obvious. One is leadership, uh, because in a world where things change faster, you need to lead the team through a permanent transformation. And we are culprit of accelerating the transformation of businesses. So either because we do M&A, we take them internationally, we want them to accelerate the development, we give them the means to do more things. But the pressure it creates on companies means you need a very strong leader to lead their team. First his team, but the employee more generally into that transformation. The other one is flexibility. So what you need to be good at now will be different when you're twice the size or more international or new competitors arrived. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you.